Boss Baby. This movie is number one at the box office over Beauty and the Beast, Logan, Kong Skull Island, uh, even Power Rangers. What happened to the world? The Boss Baby stars Alec Baldwin and is a new animated children's film about this baby who's like an adult in the mind of a baby and it enters and it enters the house with the taxi of a happily family with an only child and the only child gets jealous over this baby and he figures out that this baby is actually really intelligent and he's kind of a man inside of a baby's body and he wants to expose him to his parents and then eventually him and the baby have to work together to accomplish accomplish certain goals that the two characters want to get done. And this movie is really confusing. <laughs> so guys, just so you know, before I get into this, I actually did not see this movie in theaters. I saw this movie online. I went online, watched it. I don't care if you hate me for that because I'm not spending my money to see this movie. The fact that this movie is number one in the box office is just baffling. It surprised the hell out of me that this movie is number one one at the box office over all kinds of great movies you can see in theaters right now. I mean, we have Beauty and the Beast and Logan, two of my favorite movies of the year, and not an ounce of my soul was looking forward to watching this movie. After watching the trailers and the marketing, it looked like another Norm of the North. It looked like another really terrible animated movie that's going to be one of the worst movies of the year. It really did look that bad. This movie looked atrocious. It just looked like a really dumb kids movie that didn't care about adults and only cared about enjoying kids with fart and poop jokes and baby things that are gonna make kids laugh. But I watched it because this movie is obviously a really bad movie that I need to watch for my worst list and this is at number one at the box office. I couldn't just not watch this movie. It's like, I couldn't just skip it. There's still a lot of movies I have to catch up on and I watched The Boss Baby first since it has a surprising amount of popularity right now. And yeah, this movie's bad. I mean, what did you expect? This is a bad movie. While not as bad as Norm of the North or Ice Age Collision Course, this is one of the weirdest, hardest movies to follow that I've ever seen in my life. I'm not actually kidding you. It's so hard to follow, actually. Let's start with the positives first, because there are a few. There are a few good things about this movie. I think my main pro with this movie is how they portray a kid moving into a house, and then they, how they portray the older kid's reaction to this, because that, that obviously happens with older and younger brothers. The older kid gets sort of upset that they have a new brother, and he sort of gets jealous, and he thinks his parents aren't going to love him anymore because the other kid's getting so much attention. This movie did a good job of portraying that, I thought. I thought the kid character was good at portraying that. I thought that was easily one of the most praiseworthy things about this movie. And also the kid and the baby also do form some sort of a bond later on and I was like, yeah, okay, that's, that's, I can believe that that happened even though I don't get anything that's going on. And the animation, while nothing spectacular, it's nothing amazing, it is really good. The animation is really good. It's not like the most amazing animation you'll see ever. It doesn't really have a style to it. It just seems like generic kid movie animation. But they do do a good job with the animation, especially with the scenes involving the kids' imagination. Those scenes are visually stunning. But that's basically it. The Boss Baby is just an extremely nonsensical movie about poop and pee, and it's only suited for kids. And if you're fine with that, if you like to take your kids to a movie that's not going to challenge them, that's not going to impact them or give them a good message, Go ahead and show them the Boss Baby. I mean, you could show them the Lego Batman movie, which came out earlier this year. That's a kid's movie, and that movie actually has smart things in it, and it has a very good message. It has very good themes to it. The Boss Baby has none of that. And your excuse for that could be, hey, a kid's movie isn't supposed to have any deep adult themes in it. I highly disagree. I think that a kid's movie should be put in as much effort into it as adult films. Films like Zootopia, Kubo and the Two Strings, Inside Out have all kinds of adult themes in there that adults can enjoy in the movie too. The movie has to be just as enjoyable for adults as it is for kids. You can't just go towards one demographic. That's lazy. I think kids movies should go for every demographic, like Inside Out that has such mature themes in it. Adults will enjoy that so much. The main kid in this movie is fine. He's not really likable. He's not really annoying. He's just kind of 
fine. He's all right. Like I said, his whole gimmick is that he has an imagination, but that is easily one of the biggest problems with the movie because it made it more confusing than it actually is. Because the whole movie has such ridiculous things that make no sense. And then there's also scenes where the kid is having his imagination and you can't tell the difference because it's so nonsensical. And there are scenes where it's like portraying the kid's imagination that are nonsensical and then in real life everything is nonsensical. So what was the point of the kid having the imagination thing in the first place? Because everything is just nonsensical. You can't really tell the difference. You can't really tell the difference between the kid's imagination and the actual stuff that's going on. It's kind of crazy, actually. This movie is so confusing. But besides all that, the kid is fine. He has a narration from Tobey Maguire, which is supposed to be, like, him older. Tobey Maguire was in this movie for some reason. The kid's fine. The baby, though, is really annoying. He's voiced by Alec Baldwin, and he really got in my nerves the entire movie. There's nothing really likable about this baby. Sure, kids will like him, I guess. But I don't. I don't think this guy is funny. He's annoying. None of the humor in this movie really hits. There's a few little chuckles in there, but for the majority of the movie, it's just a really annoying movie. Just about babies and crazy things happening and poop and pee, and it's just jokes that no adults will like and they'll just find annoying. The humor in this movie, nothing works. Even the adult jokes in this movie really weren't that funny. There was nothing clever about them. They were just like, oh, hey, you referenced balls. Good for you! Like I said, this movie is so hard to follow. Constantly while watching this movie and the stuff that unfolds, I couldn't try to put together what the plot is. And I was like, this is a kid's movie, right? Why is this movie so confusing? I mean, this is from the eyes of a guy who's 17, almost entering his adulthood. I'm, a, I'm still a teenager, but I'm entering my adulthood very soon, and I was confused with this movie. It's more confusing than movies like Zoolander 2 are. <laughs> Kids won't care about the plot, they won't think about it because their frontal lobes aren't developed yet. They'll just sit there going, oh, a baby pooped. Oh, oh, oh there's stuff happening, nothing makes sense. But who cares, because babies. Whee! But for us adults, we're not gonna get anything that's going on. It's just gonna be a boring mess of a movie that's annoying and hard to sit through. I'm gonna give the boss baby a D. <laughs> it's not the worst thing ever, but it's it's really bad. It's there's nothing really special about this movie. It's just a really dumb movie that's really really hard to follow. Surprisingly, it's really hard to pay attention to. <laughs> right guys, if you like my review of The Boss Baby, be sure to subscribe, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and be sure to check out all the rest of my videos when they come out. Hooray! I will see you next time. Bye-bye.